With two races left to wrap up 2022, Mercedes has defied all odds. Even though Patronus AMG is having a season that's nothing like their last, it was a mix of tears and laughter to accompany victory at last as George Russell won his first race as a Mercedes driver at the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. And following right behind him was his teammate Lewis Hamilton. The Mercedes-Benz Formula 1 team has lacked the cutting edge that they once had all season. This campaign started out badly due to a new regulation affecting racing cars. But when the problem was identified, Petronas began to see significant improvements in results. Yet it remained in question whether they'd grab any win before Christmas or not. Welcome to our YouTube channel, and on today's episode, we'll be talking about Mercedes snatching their first win at the close of the 2022 F1 season. But before we carry on, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so that you can always experience our future content. And here comes Sebastian Vettel! Through goes Hamilton! Max Verstappen wins a Formula One Grand Prix! On a day largely poised for Red Bull and McLaren drivers, Mercedes stole the show. However, this victory did not come without plenty of drama. Right from the qualifying sprint race on Saturday, George Russell and Lewis Hamilton finished 1-2, giving them the front row for the finale. At whatever rate, Russell saw the dramatic Sao Paulo showdown from miles away. I mean, it's crazy to think that both Mercedes are starting on the front row. Lewis did a great job coming from P8, so it's going to be exciting. I'm sure Max is going to be flying tomorrow coming through the pack, but we are in a luxury position that we can maybe split the strategy and go for the win. I think it's really exciting and I'm so proud of the whole team to keep on delivering with the car. It's going to be interesting tomorrow. Obviously Max is the main man at the moment and those medium tyres didn't seem to work. Saturday's sprint finish was also a career first for Russell and on Sunday the Brit refused to relinquish dominance in a contest filled with thrills in Interlagos featuring two safety car interruptions. One such big highlight was the collision between Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton following a restart after the first safety car on lap 7. The Dutchman tried to overtake the Brit from the outside, but Lewis refused to back down, so both drivers came to blows. This singular event went on to cost Hamilton the race, but nothing compared to Verstappen's losses. This year's leader sustained damages that forced him to the pit and earned a 5 second time penalty. However, Verstappen was able to fight his way to a 6th place finish. Hamilton landed in 8 off the collision, but worked his way back to 2nd before a second safety car heralding Lando Norris's exit brought him within Russell's radar with 11 laps to go. Yet Russell remained as calm as a dove, watering down every chance for the 7-time champion to get into the DRS range and securing a win in his debut season, which hasn't been a walk in the park. But Russell has proven himself as a brilliant driver. This win extends Russell's lead over Hamilton on the driver's standings to 23 points going into next weekend's Abu Dhabi finale. The 24-year-old, still in awe of the victory, said, What an amazing feeling. It has been an emotional roller coaster this season. This was a tough race. I felt in control. Lewis was super fast, and when I saw the safety car, I thought this is going to be a really difficult end. He put me under so much pressure. I'm speechless. Beyond a win for the newbie, this is one hell of a victory for Mercedes. The entire crew were seen hopping around like kids on a bouncing castle. It's a consolation for this season's constructors title Mercedes has lost to Red Bull. Now they are left with a mission to catch up with second place McLaren who are 23 points away. Before now, Mercedes won the title 8 consecutive times. Not long after Verstappen and Hamilton's collision, Norris and Charles Leclerc came together. The Ferrari driver came out better from the blows, making it to fourth behind teammate Carlos Sainz, who completed the podium. In another chaotic moment, Verstappen refused to allow Red Bull teammate Sergio Perez through on team orders to enable the Mexican to battle Leclerc for second in the drivers' championships. While Verstappen was nowhere near overtaking Alonso on the final lap, he had instructions over the radio to let Perez through, but turned a deaf ear to the order. At the finish, Verstappen could be heard responding to the team's crew. I told you already, you guys, don't ask that again to me. Are we clear about that? I gave my reasons and I stand by it. In truth, Verstappen was spotted conversing with manager and team principal Christian Horner in the paddock post-race before they gave the media audience. Perez, leaving nothing unsaid, 
admitted that he was really surprised and disappointed at Verstappen's reaction, despite all the support he's thrown behind the Dutchman on his way to clinching successive titles. Verstappen says he'd be glad to hand his teammate an assist in Abu Dhabi, but this does not go without leaving a dent on what has been already a wonderful season for Red Bull. And maybe, if only the 25-year-old was more agreeable, Red Bull could have finished better at Sao Paulo. Karen Chandok of Sky Sports F1 suggested Verstappen was short-sighted for refusing to let Perez through. Perez had let Verstappen get ahead earlier with a promise that he'd get the favour back if Verstappen could not gain further places. With Perez's 7th place finish, he ties with Leclerc at 290 points on the Drivers' Championship table and only has Abu Dhabi's finale to get ahead. Verstappen has since sealed his second consecutive title in Japan with four races to spare. On the other hand, McLaren had a woeful day. Beyond Norris's car problems, Daniel Ricciardo had to retire in the first lap after a collision with Haas Kevin Magnussen. Magnussen wasn't spared either. Also, Alpine's Fernando Alonso and Esteban Ocon finished 8th and 9th to put the team 19 points clear in the battle for 4th in the Constructors' Championships. Valtteri Bottas and Lance Stroll took 9th and 10th position respectively, with Sebastian Vettel coming behind without a point. The F1 legend just enjoyed his time on the tracks in his penultimate race as he'd retire at the close of the 22 season. When asked to reflect on his journey to the summit, Russell was ready with a list of names of family, friends and members of the Mercedes organisation who have been instrumental to his growth since joining as a junior driver in 2017. I'm speechless. On the in-lap, all of these memories sort of came flooding back, starting off with my mum and dad in go-karting and going through all the support I've had from the rest of my family, my girlfriend, my trainer, my manager. Then, obviously, the likes of Gwen Legru, who gave me the opportunity to get on the programme with Mercedes and Mercedes strategy chief James Vowles and Toto Wolff, Mercedes team boss. The list is endless. I can't thank them enough. I'm super proud. While Mercedes is still reeling over Sunday's victory, they'll be looking to post another fine performance in Abu Dhabi to not only seal their recovery, but also improve their standings in both the Drivers' and Constructors' Championships. So for now, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and activate notifications so that you can get all of our new content. And let us know what you think about everything you heard in this episode in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in and see you soon.